Ready? DJ Sang So. Three, two, one, go. One, two, I want to. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Mike. Thank you, thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. 欢迎收看《听觉享受》，客人来。这些节目特别的荣幸，呃，邀请到，呃，算是我的一位，我非常非常尊敬的一位前辈。他是我们马来西亚爵士音乐界的老大哥。那啊、呃，非常欢迎 Michael Virapan。I said something about yeah, you you are you are really well respected here, and you are kind of. We feel that you are our Daigola in the jazz scene here in Malaysia. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah,、uh, and and also you know one of the reason that I I I'm very excited is to hear you tell stories <laughs> because you've been through through that era, which、right. you know to to me it's 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 something that I need to really get more of. You know that that's that's kind of our foundation for for the future. I I, I feel and and at the same time, you you've done so much. You've done so much、uh, for the past Sea Game, right? Right here in in KL, you were the opening ceremony. Yeah, opening ceremony,、uh, and you composed the, the tune for the、Correct. the main 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 tune, and it was sang by Mia. 
Amir, that Mia song that one she actually composed her own song, but I did all the orchestration for the whole of the opening ceremony. Yeah, and you use and use a lot of amazing like our yeah, traditional, traditional stuff and 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 that Malay, that Chinese Indian yeah yeah. So I think this this topic we we had before. What is Malaysian music to you? Uh, you you want the short answer, the long answer. <laughs> I think we 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 kind of have the time, but if you you know just just a short one so that I think um, we are still looking for it. Yeah. We don't have a definite answer. Yeah. I think what we are looking for is a direction to it. Is this mm. the right direction to find it, or is that the right direction? In the past, what we did in uh, groups like my like I was in uh, Asia Beat, for example, we innovated. We took elements from Malaysia. Yeah. More so, we use Indian grooves, but we also use uh, Japanese uh, shakuhachi and oh. other el elements uh, to to try to infuse in what today we call world music. Right. But it's still very much based upon a backbeat, mm. a groove. Uh, there's a lot. Zainal Abidin uh, has done a lot of work uh, last time, and as well, we're looking for that Malaysian sound that will stand out. Right. And my idea is that that has been one direction it has had some success but it, it's only recognizable if you're from here so if i ask you and say okay just young mm. what is japanese music but i'm a malaysian mm. maybe i've never been to japan yeah. i don't know what yeah. but i hear that oh japanese true 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 yeah we are looking for that if you are in, in uh, sitting somewhere in germany you say what's malaysian music i listen to it oh that's malaysian Mm. We don't have that. Yeah, we're looking for that. Mm. My suspicion is it has something to do with rhythm that's unique. Mm. And but the the strength of our country is based upon very street three very strong races. Right, Malay, Indian, Chinese, mm. very strong. Each one having their own powerful culture yeah. and sound. Yeah. So when I hear Erhu, mm. if I am in Malaysia, I may think. Oh, okay. That's a Erhu, but maybe Malaysian because they got other rhythm. Yeah. But if I'm Germany, I hear Erhu. I don't think Malaysian. No. Yeah. Yeah. I think Chinese. Yeah. If I hear tabla, I think India. I don't think Malaysian. No. So my suspicion is maybe we have to look in the direction of Malay rhythm. Hmm. Joget. Right. Asli. Uh, those kind of rhythm. Maybe that my song. What is that? And I raise a question saying, where is that from? Mm. Like I say, samba. Mm. Straight away, you know. I say, bossa nova, you know. Mm. So maybe I think the direction may be in the, in the area of Malay rhythm, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Left to be seen. Sure. Thank you. Wow, that's, that, that's really nice. Because that's, that's something that for, for, for my group, at least, that we are trying to find that, that thing. La. Fantastic group. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> So we just played this this uh this uh, composition. I think it's by Keith Jarrett. Uh, five brothers, uh, Jerry Mulligan. Oh, Jerry Mulligan. Yeah. Right, right, okay, 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 right. Uh, five brothers. We 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 just played a tune called Five Brothers, and 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 Mike is doing this uh, both hands thing. is amazing. <laughs> I've, been, I've been practicing it for what, 30, 40 years. <laughs> 那 Mike 呢是在呃马来西亚我们的音乐圈子，他不只是一个爵士音乐家的身份存在而已，他其实呃是很多人的音乐总监。那在呃这个国家歌剧院上演的这个非常呃非常受到好评的这个音乐剧叫做《奥拉波拉》，那这个 Mike 就是他们的 music director。And, and compose a few songs for all of them. Ah, all of them. No, for uh, Super Mo. Super Mo. Ah, yeah, sorry. Super Mo. Okay, <laughs> 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 come on. Come on. Come on. Come Mike, in the National Theatre Group, has performed a very popular musical show called Super Mo. Now, everyone knows Super Mo. But before Super Mo, actually, Super Mo is about the relationship between Super Mo and Super Mo. Now, everyone knows Super Mo. But before Super Mo, actually, Super Mo is about the relationship 当时马来西亚足球队的球员 ，So Super Mo is about the story of Mokhtar Dahari. 
Yeah, so he was like, like super. Legend. Yeah, football legend. I think Ola Bola is about the same, roughly uh, yeah, about the same subject. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super Mock is directly about the life story of uh, Mock the Diary. Mm, yeah. Now, now, uh, Mike 就是那那那一处音乐剧的音乐总监。那同时他也是 Harris Harris Iskandar 的音乐总监啊、yeah. uh, ，music director for Har Harris Is Iskandar. Yeah, that's. Also, yeah. That's really nice, right? Like <laughs> good gig. <laughs> good gig, very funny gig. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. So uh, perhaps we continue with yeah. playing some music, and then I have more questions, lah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay.
<laughs> hey, we should do a show. Huh? <laughs> we should do a show. Thank you. Uh, I think back then you did you did a series of shows with Jerry Mon Montero. That's right. We did a lot of duets together, and that's where I got this idea. And then we brought this idea into uh, the Malaysian Jazz Piano Festival. Yay! Yeah, and it was very successful. But we took it a bit further. We did two pianos, three pianos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So talking about uh, Malaysian Jazz Piano Festival, I mean, I'm I I I'm very happy that you actually asked me to 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 be a part of it. Now, ah, 说到这个呃，每年一月份呃，大多是第二或第三个星期的时候，我都会跟顾客说啊，千万不要在那个时候结婚，因为如果你要找呃很好的 Jazz Band 的话。你会几乎找不到，因为那个时候就是，呃 ，Malaysian Jazz Piano Festival， 呃，会举办的时候。那一举办的话，几乎，呃，在马来西亚这个音乐圈子的所有音乐家都会跑去那个那个呃 festival 去参与，然后就你就找不到比较好的音乐家的了。所以千万不要在那个时候结婚，你选二月三月会比较好。<笑> So I I talk about do not get married around that time. So <laughs> all the musicians. <laughs> did you come. did you mention that you are the director of the festival? Now now, uh, this this music music festival, is actually by Michael, uh, started to organize. About five years ago, he invited nine, uh, Malaysian jazz musicians to come to do a festival in his honor. We will come to the festival every year. 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 音乐节，那在去年的时候，他就把棒子交给我。那今年，呃，今年的跟明年，我都会是这个音乐节的总监呐、啊，应该这么说。那 ，Yeah， I, 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 I'm, I'm just talking about.、It. So actually, when, when we think about it, also you started many things, like the, the, the Malaysian Jazz Piano Festival, of course. Also the Cameroonian Awards, and now you are doing the Christian music yeah, the community festival. Yay, that, yeah, that that's also something. That's also something, and、uh, that's where my passion is.、Um, I think also on the industry side,、mm. I was involved in the Malaysian Union、uh, of Musicians. Oh, the, okay. Uh, Malaysian Union of Penin Musicians Union of Peninsula Malaysia. That was something which、uh, the great Alfonso and company they started that. Oh wow! And I got involved in that. It became the Musicians Union of Malaysia, MUM.、Mm. And then after that, together with uh, Dato uh, Freddy Fernandez, we started MACP,、um, right. the、uh, Performing Rights. Mm. And back in the industry, we also initiated the the Guild of Malaysian、uh, Advertising Music.、Mm. Um, many industry related、mm. uh, things in the back、uh, background with my studio, jazz club, all that. Right, right, right. Yeah, you.、Like、so yeah, it's been a quite a long career. When I look back, there are, wow, many layers of history to go back. <laughs> That's yeah. That's amazing. Like, like how how did you do so much, yet still you know really you are very passionate about playing music and all that, which is like you. So you are my hero because you are, you are full of energy, and then you see people like you are full of energy and it reminds me to also, oh don't be lazy, <laughs> don't be lazy, keep going, keep going, keep going. But thank you, know, you, thank you. So Xiang is the. Now the festival director for the Malaysian Jazz Piano Festival is coming up very、uh, shortly,、uh, because he has the energy, the vision, and the drive, and to get things done, which is unique for a musician. I think it's really great because musicians are usually just artists, me and my art, me and my art, my art, my me. But to survive in a career, a professional career, it has to be art,、mm. passion. Business sense, right, and all that.、Mm. I think maybe because I'm half Chinese, that's why. <laughs> I think that has to do with it. something. Maybe something to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> 麦麦时常开玩笑说，因为他的那个华人的血统，所以他很很懂得算钱。这样，这是就。But but but you know, really, I I of course of course I also think that it's really a personal. Choice, kind of like you, you choose to be disciplined, choose to be, you know, like do all this. You could have just 
okay, I don't care. <laughs> but thanks to you, I, I, I do think that uh, recent years, uh, the, the music scene kind of, at least I think I feel quite vibrant. Yeah. A lot of young people are playing it. Okay. And uh, kind of everybody kind of can, can at least Charlie Makan. Yeah, because we are interested in uh, the, the, the career and, and career opportunity, work opportunities rather than our ego opportunities. <laughs> so that's why the festival is important because we come together and we realize we are just one community. Right. And our objective is to have sustainability and yes. grow our industry. Yeah, yeah. So we need, we need the energy of young people, otherwise you can't grow. So as they grow the market, mm. so I also have a more sustainable <laughs> career. <laughs> okay, let, let's play some music, yeah. uh, more music.
<laughs> Yay, thank you.